hello guys welcome back to my channel on this video i'll be talking about the benefits of your ash card and your contribution and how it does affect your btcs mining the importance why do you need ash card actually so this is a picture i'll be using um i'll be using this to explain to us about how all these actually works together for good on this app please kindly like and subscribe to my youtube channel and then drop any question about the btcs app for me to attend to it at any time okay so the first thing first is my miners my miners this shows the total number of people you've actually invited using your referral link and both your reference on your level two which means if i invited mr a and mr a went ahead to invite mrs b definitely i'm going to have the count of both mr a and mrs b right so these two contribute to your my minors the number of people you've actually referred the app to and they are mining not those with registered actually makes your contribution to be much that's where you have the arrow pointing to contributed this shows this person has actually referred a lot of people and you have all that contributed you have 20.69 million rules and then your ash card how do you increase your ash card clicking on your ash card initiating or joining other people ash card actually increase your ash card and then Put your hash card, my hash, and contributed actually leads to how many pieces of BTCS you'll be mining per day. Now, let's move to the app and let me show you a brief explanation of this, which goes to the practical aspect. Take note of this the BTCS this person you can mine on each block is 0 0.07462467. So, let's move to my home page. So here is my BTCS app and here is my code section of it. So I'll be clicking on mining and here is mining. So this is what I have on my app. And looking at my miners, this shows my mining pools are 368 people. So for me to see the breakdown, how many people has actually used my own referral link and how many people has my referral actually referred to the app so i'll be clicking on mining factory and here is mining factory you are having level one and we also have level two so on level one i have 121 people so this means these are people total number of people that's actually use my own link and the 247 people are my referrals downlines so i have 368 people on my miners this makes me as 2.15 m rules on my contributed remember what i said okay let's click, i clicked on rules and this is what it says miners contributed ash calculation rules miner only contribute ash when mining and do not contribute ash when mining is suspended mining will automatically suspend if miners have not received 150 block reward and it will automatically resume again after miners receive the next block the quantity of contributed ash may change for each block because the number of mining miner is also changing so don't be surprised i might woke up tomorrow and then i saw my contributed to be 2.50 or 1.50 20. that means the number of people that are not mining has reduced and increased for example look at this join at john at gmail.com this person has awaiting suspended this person mining blocks is full and the person has not claimed so he's not going to contribute to my con to my ash card so looking at all these i have a waiting suspended a waiting suspended most of these people actually stop mining immediately they stop claiming btc so here is it a waiting suspended a waiting suspended so let's go to my ash here is my ash 
Now, how do I have 643K under my hash? Here is the hash card. It is either you initiate or you join other people's hash card already initiated. And then it does increase your my hash. So when I initiate at and card, for example, I'm going to click on initiate. And then once you initiate, you you click the number of people you want to share with. So it says the final hash is 2.10k. So definitely once I execute this, it's going to increase here as 6.663. So immediately you execute um you know the exchange you actually initiated, like I said, it's going to increase on my ash and then it just leads to this mining part where I have 0 0.0082138 this means on each block i should be expecting nothing less than 0 0.00821 we have some people that mines one btcs on each block it just depends on your contribution and your my ash these two actually leads to the number of btcs you'll be mining on each block i hope you understand if there is any question you would love to ask me you should let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for staying this long. Kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much.